In order to share your document with multiple people at one time, there's a nice feature built into the share. So instead of starting from our Google Drive page, here I am within a document, and I'll showcase another way to access that share, which is to click this blue button. When we click on the blue button for sharing, we get the same sharing options window. But in this case, instead of adding a singular address at a time, or multiple individual addresses, we're going to go with the access option right here. Every document starts as a private document, but you can change this. By clicking on change, you'll get a number of options. If your Gmail account is set up as part of a larger system, for example, in our case, an educational system, um, you will have five options. If you have a general Gmail account, you will only have three options. So here in our situation, we can share on two levels with people within our system and on two levels beyond that if we wish. Public gives access to the most people to your document. Anyone with a link narrows uh, the number of people who can access your document simply by making it difficult because they must have a long extensive link. And if you look up here in the address bar you can see Google uses very complex link names. So it's not likely somebody's going to guess the link combination of letters and numbers. Ashland Public Schools uh, or whatever your institution is will limit it to only people that have an at, in our case ashland.k12.ma.us account. And then you can restrict it further by doing it with the link. This is a quick way to make a lot of uh, to provide access for a lot of people because once you do this and here I'm going to select anyone with a link and anyone with a link can view or comment or edit in the case of this document I'm not looking for collaboration I'm just looking to share information so I'm going to choose can view and then I'm going to hit save now what happens is this highlighted address up here is a link to the document that anyone can access as I've set it up. I'm going to hit Command C for a Mac or Control C on a PC. That will copy that link. I can then email the link, say to a list of parents or a class of students. I can post it on a website such as my Google site or a Schoology uh, as a Schoology resource. I can also um, choose just to share it with one person at a time via email. There are lots of ways that you could then use that address. But you don't have to go through and give individual access when you do that. Finally, you want to hit Done. And then you take that address that you've copied and you post it where you want it. So to complete this, I'll show you Schoology. I want to add it as a resource in my Schoology account. So I could add the link here, paste it in, refresh it, and if it says what it is, that's an indication that it's public because Schoology can't actually access it if I didn't make it public. And if I didn't make it public, I could highlight this and replace it with what description I want to use. And that's how you can share broadly, a Google document broadly, using just a couple of clicks.